Have you had a major setback that you need to come back from? Maybe you're facing a huge obstacle right now. I'm going to tell you a true story about overcoming adversity that turned into the greatest thing that ever happened to me. See, I began my mental toughness trainer career as a manager at a Fortune 500 company. Now, before becoming a manager, I was an hourly worker. One day I'm a worker and the next day I'm a manager, just like that. No training, no instructions, just here's your desk, here's your office, and I'll see you at a meeting in two hours. So two hours goes by and I go to my first meeting with my boss and another manager who's supposed to train me. My boss is conducting the meeting and he starts talking about all kinds of things that I have no clue what he's talking about. I'm scribbling notes as fast as I can from what he's saying and, and my partner's just sitting there listening, nodding his head. My boss is giving us task after task and all of it has to be done by, by tomorrow, the next day, by the end of the week, etc. right? And most of it's like total Chinese to me. I have no idea how to do any of these tasks. I end up with a full notepad of things we have to get done and everything is ASAP. The meeting ends and my partner and I get together to tackle the list that I'd written. He doesn't seem to be very concerned about any of it. I'm almost in a panic mode thinking my job depends on getting all of this done. So how are we going to do this? I ask him. He says something like, eh, we don't have to worry about that one. Well, 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 how about this next task where we have to do blah, 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 blah by the end of the week? He says, well, let's deal with that at the end of the week. And it goes on like this until he says, you know, I got to go do something right now. We'll deal with this later. As it turned out, a year later, he was let go. Now, my boss had told me that his door is always open. And so I knock on his office door and I sit down across the desk while he has his back to me working on his computer. Now, I ask a few questions about the tasks and he gives me short, incomplete answers and then finally turns to me and says, I'm really busy, figure it out. My jaw dropped just like that as I walk out of the door to my office. I start doing what I call dialing for answers asking anyone in the company if they know how to deal with these tasks that I was facing. And I don't quit. I keep at it. I get answers slowly, surely, sh slowly, but surely one by one, I knock out all the tasks. Months later, I end up leading my group to their very first ever best performance award for the entire district. And my boss compliments me, telling me I'm going to be doing his job someday very soon. Now here's the punchline. At that time, I did not like that boss. He was tough, sometimes abusive, and often unfair. And that job almost killed me with the stress I had to deal with. But it was the greatest gift I've ever received from anyone. To this day, Whenever I need to overcome adversity or deal with any new task, I say to myself, and I believe it deep down in the tissues of my being, I'll figure it out. And I always do. I always figure it out. That job, that boss, the deadlines, it all taught me that I can always figure anything I need out. Find your power belief from your comeback story. It's right there. Use it. I'm Craig Sigal, your mental toughness trainer.